Good morning everyone, it's Anifa Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today I'm back in the forest and it is beautiful. It smells fantastic and it uh, looks beautiful with all the falling leaves. It's a wonderful um, carpet to walk on and I have to tell you that it feels great to start here today. So I wanted to share a quote with you that had come to my mind a few days ago. And I have not watched this movie, but uh, as I expressed it and shared it, it uh, came to mind that I would like to find out where I got that quote from. And though I haven't watched the movie, apparently this quote is from Malcolm X, and maybe some of you have seen that movie. So the quote is, if not now, then when? If not me, then who? If not now, then when? If not me, then who? And I see myself as really trying to live this experience because I can tell you that in my process of transformation, and I'll say it's post grief, I've noticed that uh, it's really important for me to do things that resonate with I'm living my life as I would like to, or I would like others to also. I know that I have encouraged patients for years to take some time for themselves and to really enjoy things and be in the moment. Now, of course, my training with Eckhart Tolle was highly influential in helping me focus on now. But I can see that that's actually been part of my experience for much of my life. So now I've got different labels or language or instructors that have helped me also understand this better, but I'm living it. I definitely feel that uh, both in my professional life and my personal life, I'm enjoying and I've always been a person who likes to enjoy the moment and I'm noticing how much that makes a difference in whether my practice or as a person in and just enjoying life, just enjoying life, a person living. I feel like I'm living and how many people can say that? I think for so many years I went through many schedules as many of us do and many awarenesses of there's not enough time is what it seemed like, right? There's just not enough time. Uh, there's not enough money to pay the bills. There's not enough time to do all the things I want to do or should do or I'm responsible to do. And of course, you know, being in the now definitely changes that perspective. I really feel there is enough. There is enough. And that, of course, can come from brain retraining, which I do help clients do. But at the same time, it's being in the moment right now too, right? I'm always so aware that at any moment, things can change. So whether it's a relationship change, it's a job change, it's life change, it's health change, um, all of these things can happen in a moment. And it's so instantaneous that many of us forget. I think many of us kind of know it at the back of our minds, but not enough to really appreciate what we've got right now. So today I want you to sit for five minutes after this video and think about what are you appreciative for right now. I can tell you I've had some amazing conversations with uh, good friends that I may have even only really met once ha that have turned into great friends. Yesterday, in fact, I had this fantastic conversation. And I've had friends that I've known for many years that I have great conversations with. And conversation is important to me. Healthy, happy communication. I love it. Now, of course, there are times where it's not so happy and that communication itself still means so much to me. It's so nice to connect with people. It's nice to connect with nature. It's nice to connect with my purpose in life. And I can tell you that I do know that uh, that's something that my clients have felt for me and I felt for my clients that we've been very present in our appointment. So very much focused on what's happening in that moment or in those moments or a combination of moments making that hour of appointment time that I do. Same thing in terms of being in a forest. I can tell you that probably my ex was much more um, aware of nature and, and appreciative of nature. But let me tell you, he inspired that in me. And today, I love it. I And honestly, I think most of us just don't give ourselves the time to enjoy what we're doing, whatever we're doing. These days, I could be so appreciative for a long nap. <laughs> so that's one thing. I've always been appreciative of laughter and one of my next videos will talk more about that. But I want you to know that there's so many things that we can do every single day that help us appreciate what we've got right now. And that just encourages more 
of the wonderful things coming to us. So if you can spend five minutes just to think about what are you appreciative for right now? What can you do to bring a smile to your face or faces around you? How can you enjoy this moment and this life experience right here, right now? You know, I, I talk about this a lot, but really there's so much that we can enjoy. And I want you to remember that when you are thinking about the things that you're appreciative for, the times that you're appreciative for, like even this moment, recognize that this is such a blessing right now. This is so beautiful right now. And if you can spend some time to do that, you are going to bring much more of this to you right now. I think if we do that in every aspect that we do, I do this when I go grocery shopping, I can find things to be amused by, I can really be present with grocery shopping. I'm present with uh, meeting people, I'm present with being alone, I am present with nature. I love seeing people walking their dogs. I love watching birds at my feeders. I am really enjoying uh, the things that I'm aware of today. And I hope that you will be too. So five minutes after this uh, video, <laughs> do take that time and just think about what am I appreciative for right now? And spend five minutes truly appreciating that. Be present with it. And remember today's quote, right? If not now, then when? If not me, then who? Remember, transform your mind and transform your life. I hope you have a great day ahead.